Welcome back to Jared Dynamics. Okay, let's go ahead and do a short movie review for you all. Uh, I am going to talk about The Black Phone. Um, so The Black Phone is based, well, one, stars Ethan Hawke. Um, Ethan Hawke has been putting in some great performances lately, especially in the, uh, basically the bad guy role. He was really good in, um, um, in Moon Knight. Uh, I was, I was pleasantly surprised with how, how good he was in Moon Knight. And in this movie, The Black Phone, he just does a, just an amazing role. Like, you hardly even see his face throughout the whole thing. Um, it's mostly going through the different masks, and I did really enjoy that. Um, the other stars of the movie are the kids, um, Mason Thames and I think Madeline McGraw is the, uh, are the two kids. They do a, a great job in this movie. Um, basically, the whole cast is perfect for what they, what they're doing. Uh, there's nothing, um, overly complicated about it. Uh, nothing, the, uh, you know, they're, they're not trying to tell this super complicated story. Basically, as you see in the, uh, in the previews, there's a child uh, kidnapper going around. Um, the town knows about it. The town is trying to figure it out. And then this boy gets kidnapped. And then you see his story basically talking about, you know, how is he going to escape? And it goes through and it kind of uses, there's a little bit of horror to it in the sense that there's, you know, some ghosts talking to him, the other kids that were, were killed. Um, and, you know, obviously Ethan Hawke's character is, is kind of a scary dude. Um, so there's a little bit of horror to it. It's more of a suspense movie, more of a, uh, uh, thriller suspense type, uh, horror movie as opposed to like, you don't get a lot of jump scares. There's a couple, not a lot though. Um, there's nothing like really scary looking, not a, hardly any blood, hardly anything like violent, just very, very minimal of that. Um. If your kids are um, mature enough to handle the themes, because the themes are pretty dark, um, there's nothing in this movie that really, like, a child couldn't, you know, a relatively older child, maybe a teenager, let's let's go with that. Nothing a teenager shouldn't be able to see. Uh, it is rated R, so you do want to keep that in mind, though, um, for the dark content, a little bit of violence. Um, um, I don't believe there is any nudity in the movie. The language is, there's a little bit of spicy language, but not a lot. Um, and so, yeah, I, I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be completely embarrassed to bring a, uh, a teenager to this movie. Um, the, uh, the director, um, let's see, I think the, the writer is Joe Hill and the screenplay is Scott Derrickson. I'm kind of looking at this as we go. Um, um, the, you know, good, good, uh, a good group of guys there. Um, but overall, let's see, I'm not seeing the director here. Um, but yeah, so let's talk about some of the, uh, there, Jeremy Davies, uh, plays the, uh, dad in the movie and really, he does a really good job too. Um, I was actually pretty impressed, like with, with how good he plays the range of emotions that goes into his character in the beginning he's kind of an abusive dad an alcoholic um but it does kind of go into why he is that um and the way that he go handles the loss of his son being kidnapped and his daughter still needing him um it's great stuff really really good acting uh, written well and uh and it ends strong it definitely ends strong a um, couple other um, kids throughout the movie that do do great jobs. Um, uh, Tristan uh, Provong plays Bruce. Uh, he's fun. Um, and then let's see who's the other kid that uh, that impressed me. Where'd he go? Miguel Cazares Mora is Robin in the movie, and uh, he did a, he did a really good job also. Really, everybody in this movie um, did a good job. Um, I recommend watching it. I really enjoyed it. Um, the ending is slightly surprising, but not really. It's not really like that. Um, it's just like, how is this going to end? Is it? Is he going to make it? Is he dead already? Um, is he? Is he going to die? 
you know, and so you're just kind of waiting to figure out exactly what happens. Uh, but great movie, uh, great ending, and uh, and really Ethan Hawke is just kind of killing it lately. Um, the masks are really cool in the movie too. I, I was I was very impressed with the masks. Um, a lot of fun. All right, everybody, go out, watch it uh, in the theater, or wait till it comes to streaming. Um, it's not one of those movies that you like have to watch in the theater, um, but I enjoyed it in the theater. It uh, it gave that spooky vibe that I like from going and just sitting and watching a scary movie in the theater. But um, but you could probably wait till it comes out on streaming and and get a similar experience just watching it in your house. Turn out the lights, watch a watch a thriller, have a good time. All right, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the uh, little movie review. I'm going to do a couple more here. Um, hopefully you like it. All right, everybody, take care. Have a good day.